If you're watching this video, chances are that you or someone close to you has been injured in a slip and fall accident in a New Jersey store. First, you should know that you're not alone. In fact, nearly 800,000 victims are hospitalized for falls each year in the United States, according to the CDC. Your experience was likely a painful, embarrassing, and perhaps expensive ordeal, and at this point, you're likely wondering if the store owner can be held responsible. The short answer to this question is yes. Barring unusual circumstances, a store will be held liable for a customer injury. This is because the Supreme Court of New Jersey recently stated that, quote, the duty of care requires a business owner to discover and eliminate dangerous conditions, to maintain the premises in a safe condition, and to avoid creating conditions that would render the premises unsafe. Now, what does this phrase, duty of due care, mean exactly? This legal concept means that a person owes it to someone to act with, with a duty of care. If they fail to meet their duty to act with care, they would be considered negligent. So in order to win a case, you'll likely have to prove that the store was somehow negligent or careless or reckless. Proving a store owner was negligent. In order to prove a store owner was negligent, we examine each of the three elements of duty of care to discover and eliminate the dangerous condition, the duty to maintain the premises, and to avoid creating unsafe conditions. First, business owners have a duty to remove any unsafe conditions they know about. They're expected to make an effort to discover unsafe conditions, and the quote, I didn't know about it excuse rarely holds up in court. We can prove that a store proprietor knew of a dangerous condition using video footage, eyewitness testimony, incident reports, and other forms of evidence. It's our job as expert personal injury attorneys to collect and analyze this evidence in order to hold the business owner accountable. So for example, if the owner glanced over and saw that someone was mopping the floor, but didn't take care to put up a caution sign, that means that they did something careless. Second, business owners have a basic obligation to keep their environment in clean and safe condition for their customers and employees. This is especially true in environments which pose a quote, inherent and foreseeable hazard. In such situations, the slip and fall accident victim doesn't even need to prove that the store knew about the specific hazard that caused the accident. So for example, let's say you're in a supermarket that has sprayers that spray the produce and those sprayers often leads to water that's on the floor. That's a condition that is likely known about and recurring and something that the store owner should be considered on notice to make sure that the floor is not in a wet and slippery condition. The last element of duty is the most straightforward. If a staff member knowingly spilled grease on the floor and walked away, he or she would have certainly created an unsafe condition and could be found guilty of negligence. Personal injury cases are notoriously complicated, and if you were injured in a big store, you may be going up against a team of seasoned corporate lawyers. At Rosenblum Law, we offer the experience, dedication, and client attention that you'll need to get fairly compensated for your slip and fall accident. We have the chops to go against big insurance companies and their lawyers and are able to extract a fair and just settlement so that you can move on with your life.